Okay. Hey guys, what are we doing today? Fleetwood windows, some of my favorite windows. I think they're some of the best in the aluminum class in that they come with a pan. A lot of windows don't have a pan. Uh, the way you install these windows is the pan goes in first. There's a tape, protective tape that we peel off the back and then we put sealant on the pan, place the pan in the windowsill, shim it, then after it's shimmed, so the pan will, will go in like so, where the lip is all the way around, these pre-made pans that Fleetwood comes with. That goes on our slope sill that we have in there. And then the window will uh, sit on this pan, but we'll level this pan first with shims, get it perfect, and then place the window on. We usually dry fit the window first, and then we'll remove the window, place caulking all the way around it. And today we're using this Quad Max. Uh, we like what we've heard about the Quad Max, and we've already done the zip tape. After we did the stretch tape, we put the zip tape on the sides and then put our piece on the top. That way, when we set the window in, there's a nice seal all the way around. And if you look over here at this window that's already installed, you'll see that the pan is down below. Uh, there's uh, the pan is equal to the flange, but we placed some shim in between the pan and the flange. That way, if any water were to get in there on the pan, it would drip down. So there's no sealant that goes on the bottom of this flange. And the screws that we use are a stainless screw. It's a self-tapping screw. So that'll go right through the aluminum flange, about That's two and a quarter. Like flat head, so we try to keep it flat. Jumping to another shot just to show how we put the beveled board in. That's a cedar beveled pre-primed pre -prime board. And uh, we're using a galvanized roofing nail to get that in place. So Matt and Pete are preparing the windowsill with this stretch zip tape. Some real amazing stuff. The nice thing about this stretch zip tape is the zero cuts on the inside corners of the sill pan. Another thing that we found is it is much easier in installing this very, very sticky product to remove the paper a little at a time and then stick it down, kind of like you do with a sticker. And also as we're doing that, we're keeping our clearance about half inch. In this case, this wall is only a two by four wall and we like a good amount of the tape to be in the sill itself. So we're about half inch in and our method allows the, us to keep in line with that pretty well. I have seen on some videos, they try cutting it and then uh, holding it up in a U shape. And I did try that on a few windows and was semi successful in it, especially the smaller windows, but larger windows like this one, uh, we just have to go at it a little at a time. Now, one of the crowning aspects of this zip tape stretch tape system is what Matt's about to do right here. Zero incision, zero cut, pull that over and adhere it straight down to the zip sheathing and it stretches right over and all of it sticks down. Now Matt is getting the remainder of the paper off and then we're going to roll the tape. 
Now one thing you might notice is that there isn't zip tape in the seams below on this particular window. We're doing this for display. There will be zip tape and all the seams below, as you'll see in the next seam, will be zip taped. So this is the Fleetwood pan, all aluminum. This is what the Fleetwood windows come with. And we are going to seal that in place. We're gonna place the sealant on the underside of that pan. And that is what Matt is doing now. We're using the Quad Max. Love that sealant. We also use a quad sealant on many windows, but the Quad Max is just one step above. However, there is a uh, supply shortage on the Quad Max. If you go into Lowe's or Home Depot and try to look for Quad Max, at least in our local area here in Oceanside, San Diego, uh, they are out a lot of times. Right, not uh, so we, went, we had to go with a white versus a darker color sealant, and that's fine. We're just careful with it, careful with the windows, and wear gloves, and try to protect the window very best that we can. Yeah. Our next step oh, no, is screw screwing right the window in really place. Uh, we'll get one screw up towards the top. Uh, but before doing that, I'm running inside to check the level. Again, always good to double check. And once I establish that we're all good with the level, no extra shims needed, then it's back to screwing the window in place. I like to see a little of that white sealant kind of squeeze out then I know that we uh, put enough in there and I'll even sometimes trowel a little bit of sealant on the sides and what Matt's doing now is he's putting these little 16 shims in between the pan and the window flange and that will just allow if any water were ever to get on that pan that would give it passage and then it can go down our zip sheathing and find its way down through the weep screen or through the rain screen, depending if we're doing stucco or siding. That's smooth. And what we got next is these large windows, very heavy. I rented this beam lift and our plan is to put the window on that, raise it up, to there and then set it in. This is a different window I'm showing here as we're using a beam lift to get this window in place. Along with the beam lift, you can rent these extenders that go on the two forks. That's very helpful as we push the window to the very front of those forks. And then we asked another one of our guys, Rod, who was working there to help crank the unit up in place and get it close. for the final detail of finishing the waterproofing of these windows is getting the zip tape on the sides of the flange. So I start with the two sides 
using a three and a half inch zip tape. And that goes over the flange. And then on the top, I use a six inch zip tape. It makes it much easier to measure the window and then cut the piece on the ground to length and then only bring up the piece that you need. I take a little bit of the paper off the back just so I have a little bit of sticky stuff to start with. Connecting that and then I peel as I go. And I keep it real nice and even up there. I'm trying to make my lines as clean as possible. But the peel as you go method has proven to be a better method for us in installing uh, the zip tape rather than peeling off all the paper and then trying to put up one big sticky piece. And now for the rolling. The rolling is a very essential part. Make sure to roll really good. A rule of thumb for rolling for me is besides seeing the Z, there's a little bit of texture in that zip sheathing. And when I see that texture through that tape, I know I've rolled good enough. So here it is. Install completed, tape rolled out. Uh, we hope that you find some of this information on how we install these Fleetwoods useful to you. And follow us for more on our builds and what we have going because we have some unique projects. Thank you.